All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a video for you really quickly about how to factory reset and install these door sensors that could work with Cox or your Xfinity system. Doesn't matter if it's the touch panel or if it's just the smart hub itself, it will work with either one. <clears throat> and it is uh, appropriate for all the different sensors. These are Searcom sensors, but I have several different kinds, so it works. First thing you're going to do, take your sensor down, take the back off the sensor, remove the battery. Okay. Then right here, there's a tamper switch. There's a tamper switch in all of the sensors that have the Zigbee or Z-Wave technology. Press and hold the tamper, and at the same time, insert the battery. When you insert the battery, it's going to be a green, uh, green LED. Then release the tamper, and it'll flash. And it'll just start flashing. That means it goes in the pairing mode. Now, when you get to pairing mode on your touchscreen or your app, what you need to do is move the sensor with the other piece backwards and forwards. Move it backwards and forwards, and then next thing you know, it will read up and it will pair. And after that, you name it and you're good to go. See you guys.